Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Melissa. So this video is a part two, so if you have not watched the first one, I recommend to stop this video and go check out that video first. So let's get right into this video today. I took Kitler to the vet for his first checkup. He got blood work done, he got his worm pill, and he got his first set of shots. At the time of the vet, his belly was a little distended, but sometimes kittens end up with worms, so they didn't think much of it at the time. A few days later, he was acting not himself, and I noticed his belly was very hard at the time. So I took him to after hours emergency care and prognosis was that he had a blockage in his bladder. Their best recommendation was to put him to sleep. So unfortunately, I had to put Kittler to sleep. It was very hard. Um, I didn't have him a very long time, but he was the best kitten I ever had. He was lovable, he was sweet, but he's not in any pain anymore and he's in our backyard. <laughs> Goodbye, Kittler. We loved you. You were such a good kitty. I am a July baby. My birthday is July 26th. I had two friends come down. Number one was Aiden, and number two was Jenny. We went out to Orlando and picked them up from the airport, and they hung out with us for about a week. We had a great time. Jean threw me a party for my birthday. I had family come out, and all my friends came out. We had a water slide, I even had Luna and Cookie here, which was really cool. Kids never listen, and even adults don't listen to moms. Right moms? Give me high five on this one. So I tell the boys, stop horsing around. Five minutes later, here comes John. Yep, that's what happens when you horse playing, don't listen to moms. Also, my nephew was born on my birthday, which was really cool, I have a birthday twin. First one ever, which is my nephew, so thought that was really cool. I know some moms love back to school. I, on the other hand, I know kids need school. It's very, very, very important, but I hate getting up in the morning. But back to school time, my daughter is in 10th grade and the two boys are in 11th grade. It's crazy to think. One more year and I'm gonna have two kids out of high school, oh my gosh. It's just insane. So I get a phone call from my mom and she says, I have these two dogs. Okay, bring them over, I'll check them out. She found these animals crossing a highway and she stopped and grabbed them too. So we took them in. This is Cosmo and this is Wanda. A few days later, my daughter calls me and says, hey mom, my friend has this cat. Okay, why don't they want this cat? They can't afford it. So being who we are, here's number five cat. This is Dakota. Now if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna put a little clip that my son made on TikTok of the animals. It's very cute, it's funny. So I don't know what's going on with my house, but me and Jean are sitting in the garage and all of a sudden something comes in and I'm like, I thought it was a rat. So I'm like freaking out. What are you eating? Come here. This is a result of Cosmo. Are you eating this? Are you eating this? You can't eat this. So next morning I wake up and I hear this scratching and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is it? And you know, when you have the wash and dry, you have the water sink, whatever that's called outside. And this was what was in it. So me and Max took him and I got him out of there and I put him across the street in some woods so he would be safe and happy, I guess. Then the next day, this guy comes charging at us while we're sitting in the garage again, stops dead track looks at me, gets scared, and then zooms off this way. Then the other day, Max and Malia bring home this little turtle. We were going to keep the turtle, but in Florida, you are not allowed to keep these turtles as pets. So we let it go, me and Max did again. So we're getting ready for Max's party. For you guys that do follow me, you've seen that we were brought to have the party a few weeks ago, but due to that dang hurricane, Dorian, that had no idea where he was going, Omar took the kids to Virginia. So we decided when they came back, we would have his party. For you guys that do not know this, I know you followed us for a while, or Omar for a while, you probably don't know this. I've mentioned it a few times on my Twitter and my Instagram. I am not Ethan's biological mother. Yes, I look at him as a son, I love him as a son, he does live with me, but when you guys don't see him in my videos or in pictures or in Omar's videos, it's because he's with his mom at the time. We had a great turnout at the party, everybody showed up including my family and his family, Tiffany even drove down for the event which was awesome of her. We had a water slide, we had a snow cone machine. I wanted my son to know that even though his father and I are not together that 
he didn't lose his family, that we were all able to come together and still be there for him and get along because that's what it's all about at the end of the day is our children. You know, you still have your Hey guys, I want to thank you guys all for all the birthday wishes. Thank you. Max passed his permit test. Oh my gosh, watch out people. He's going to be on the road. I'm going to put myself out there right now because I just find it very funny and hilarious. So my mom wanted to record me going into the pool. So I jump in the pool and this is the result. And it just reminded me of one of those pictures where the girl does reality versus expectation. So check this out. I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for 10,000 subs. I'm so excited. This journey is going to be great. It's going to be exciting, fun, emotional, everything and above. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next week.